my name is Steve Rennie. I am the Wren Baron and this is my Wren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a VFR flight from Riverside Municipal Airport, Kilo Romeo Alpha Lima to Palm Springs International, Kilo Papa, Sierra Papa. Uh, and along the way I'm going to show you some of the techniques I've learned and use in my Cirrus SR22 Gen 6 Cirrus Perspective Plus system. Now, if you've watched any of the videos on my channel before, you'll notice that most of the time I have a little instrument cam here to give you a, an up close and personal look at what's going on on the PFD and the MFD. Today, however, that camera was not working properly, so I'm gonna be giving you a little voiceover walking you through each of the important functions and techniques that I've used along the way. Now, as is usually the case, when you're learning to fly every flight provide some lessons and today that's true as well so if you're looking to learn something new today and ready to fly let's get started green on let's go uh, let's get our mixture full let's go boost Uh, Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra at the RAS Jetport Fuel ready to taxi to 09 with whiskey. And uh, Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra, runway 9 or taxi via Golf Alpha cross runway 34. Taxi to uh, runway 09, Golf Alpha and cross 348 Foxtrot Sierra. That's correct. Right base runway 9 or Golf. Uh, copy. Two, three, two, three. In the airport via the Riverside 1 departure. Okay, we're crossing 3-4 there. 60574 Riverside Ground, taxi straight in. Okay, let's go to our checklist here. Pre-fly is all done, we've got all that going. Starting engine, we got all that done. Everything is good, we got green, green, green. Surround radio avionautics. 135.4 up top. And let's go get our ATIS here, 12465 down at the bottom. 12465, that's set. Get our tower in there, 119 or 0.7. That's set. We got 121 uh, up top, 135.4 on the departure frequency. That's good. Cabin heat frost, fuel selectors on the fullest tank. Taxi, we did all that. Four takeoff doors are latched and closed. Cap handle is good. Seat belt, shoulder harness is secure. Uh, left is up, right is down. Everything's running properly. Fuel quantity, fuel pump is in boost. Mixture is full. Flaps are 50. Trim, flaps, mixture boost, transponder is set for VFR. Riverside ground, Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra. Can I get flight following to uh, Palm Springs, please? Sierra 786 Foxtrot Sierra, Riverside ground, and confirm that is your call sign 786 Foxtrot Sierra. Uh, 768 Foxtrot Sierra. 768 Foxtrot Sierra, Roger, Simba. Sierra 8 Foxtrot Sierra, remain VFR out of below 2500. Departure frequency 125.5, walk 0205. Okay, we're going to remain uh, VFR at or below 2500, 125.5 on the departure frequency 0205 on the squawk 8 Fox Shots here. Seriously, sure, Fox Shots here, read back, correct. 500, check. 125.5, let's go up top, 125. Point five. Check. O two O five on the squawk. O two zero five. Check. Okay, that's all set. Okay, we're ready to go here. Play plan is going to be data. Let's put it in nav mode here. Riverside ground zero seven six eight five shots here. Run up complete. Ready to taxi to uh, O nine. Sure, eight five shots. Sure, you could pull up and hold short runway niner and contact the tower one two one point zero. One two one point zero eight five shots here. Thank you. Riverside Tower, Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra, holding short runway 09 at Kilo for straight out departure. 768, Foxtrot Sierra, straight out departure approved, runway 9 or clear for takeoff, no delay. Runway 09, clear for takeoff, no delay, 8 Foxtrot Sierra, thank you. Okay. 
Sierra. SoCal approach, Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra, 1,600 climbing, 2,500 off Riverside. Number 768 Foxtrot Sierra, SoCal departure, right at South 2 climbing 2, you can continue your climbing. Uh, IDENT climbing to 5,508 Foxtrot Sierra. 3 Foxtrot Sierra's radar contact, mile east of Riverside, DSR climb to 5,500, troopers requested outside of the March class, Charlie. Outside March class, Bravo, 85 here, thank you. So here we are one minute into the flight and our first lesson of the day happens. Now, most of the time when I fly, I'm flying IFR flight plans. And that means that ATC is basically telling me where to go. And for the most part, they'll steer me clear of any airspace restrictions. But today I'm flying VFR and that means it's up to me to make sure that I'm not flying through restricted airspace. But as you can see right here, my flight plan is going to take me right smack through the middle of that March Air Force Base airspace with restrictions up to 5,500 feet. So lesson number one, pay attention to airspace restrictions when you're flying VFR. But I learned another lesson as well, which might not be quite as obvious unless you're a G1000 or a Cirrus Perspective Plus user. Now, normally, if I'm flying a VFR route, I'm able to switch to my VFR charts on my MFD. But as you can see right here, I don't have any VFR charts. And the reason is because I forgot to renew my subscription for the IFR VFR charts. Fortunately, I had my trusty iPad with my VFR chart, so it wasn't an issue. But it's never a great idea to count on luck when you're flying. So lesson number two, make sure all your charts are up to date before you fly. Fortunately, the air traffic controller was paying attention and steered me clear of that airspace before I heard about it from the March Air Force Base Tower. Three for four four three. Left turn and we're back on track. 27 zero. 27 zero, thank you. SoCal Factal 8683 on top, 95 November. Paradise heading one zero zero after that. Uh, the approach will be at full stop. There. That's that. that uh, Paradise one zero zero negative on full stop. Fraser whiskey. Okay, what's your next approach after? Still so count for traffic, traffic flow. Three zero zero six. Make right traffic. Runway two six left. Department. And maintain VFR on top conditions at three thousand five hundred. Actually, depart Pomona on a zero seven. Now, as I'm trying to avoid the March Air Force Base airspace, I'm scrolling up to a waypoint here called EROC. At this point, I'm looking for a waypoint I can go direct to that keeps me clear of the March Air Force Base. With my cursor on the waypoint, I click direct to. From there, I can activate the autopilot and let the plane do a little work while I multitask on some other items. Okay, now at this point I'm clear of the March Air Force Base airspace and now I want to get back on course. So, so I'll go back to my flight plan. I scroll down to Sater, hit direct to, enter, enter, and I'm heading for Sater. Seven o'clock, wait for them. Sally Ho, 5 Valley 683, maintain the separation. So, Cox, you have 63 here, Pompa 2400, climbing 3000. Now, if you look closely on the MFD there, you'll see I got a number of traffic targets along the way. So, I'm keeping a good eye out for them just to make sure uh, because you never know when somebody could pop up. 
Now, while I've got a little time on my hands, I'm going to try to stay ahead of the game by putting in my radio frequencies for Palm Springs International Airport. And the Cirrus Perspective Plus system makes that easy to do. I'll just highlight the Palm Springs Airport waypoint, hit enter, scroll down to the frequency I want, choose the comm you want to send it to, and then hit enter. In this case, I'm loading ATIS into COM2 Active and Tower into COM2 Standby. Got that. Approach uh, Hey, we got traffic to the left, 1900 to the right. Number 623, Sierra Papa, SoCal departure. I death maintain uh, 4000. I dead 4000 for Sierra Papa. November 8, Sierra Whiskey, maintain 4500 for traffic. Maintain 4500 for traffic, Cherokee, Sierra Whiskey. Bonanza 5 5, November, turn right heading at 0, uh, let's make that 0, 7, 0. Now at this point, I know exactly where the traffic ahead of me is at and what altitude they're at. So I'm looking to trim a little distance off the flight plan by skipping to the next waypoint. So I wait just a bit for the traffic to clear my flight path. Number 3006. 3006, 3 Papa. Number 3 Then I highlight that waypoint called bands on the flight plan. And then I hit direct, enter, enter, and off we go to bands. November 148, change the frequency 135.4. 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135.4, 135
Left down, went for 3 1 at or above 3,500. 8 5 dots here. Okay, now we have our initial approach instructions from ATC, and it includes an altitude restriction, so we're going to have to adjust our plan. First, I'm going to change my altitude select from 2,200 to 3,500. Now, I still want to use VNAV to manage that descent, but I'll need to make sure I'm at 3,500 before I reach the downwind. So what I'm going to do is pick a waypoint in front of that downwind, in this case, Alex, and enter 3,500 for the altitude restriction. But because we passed our top of descent, I'll have to recalculate a new one and use VNAV direct to make it happen. And then I'll arm VNAV. Number 436 Center. About 15 seconds later, VPath flashes green on the AP scorecard in the PFD, and we start our descent. Now, in addition to that altitude restriction, ATC also directed us to enter left traffic for 3-1. Now, I hesitated just a bit when I heard that call, and here's why. If you look at those VFR charts that we talked about earlier, you'll notice that the charts list right pattern for runway 31 left and right. One of the most important lessons I've learned about talking with ATC in my short piloting career is that if you're not sure, ask. So Cal Approach, 85 shots here. I just want to confirm, you want me in the left downwind for 31 instead of right pattern for 31. 85 shots here, affirmative, left downwind. Thank you. Now, as I mentioned a bit earlier, when I fly to Palm Springs through the Banning Pass, typically I'm at 7,500 feet or 9,500 feet. Today we're much lower, and that means we're likely to have some problems picking up the radio, and that's the case when I try to pick up our ATIS on the way in. 1, 5,500. And as you can hear, that was a complete mess. So thankfully, I have my XM weather in the plane, and all I'm missing is the identifier at this point. So I'll try to pick it up later in the flight, and in the meantime, I'm going to move on to some other business. Okay, descent check was oxygen. And that's right, you're 70, Charlie. You went to left or right descent. Palm Springs Tower, Sierra 768 Fox Shots here inbound. Uh, I couldn't pick up the identifier, I got the uh, weather. Sierra 768 Fox Shots here, Palm Springs Tower, You're coming in broken, barely readable. Call again in about five miles. Okay, now let's fast forward it. We've reached our altitude restriction of 3,500 at all. As we start to round the bend for Palm Springs Airport, I'm going to switch from heading mode and go direct to Garnier in GPS mode. And I'm going to reset my altitude select to 2,200. And now VNAV is armed again. Palm Springs Tower, Sierra 768 Backstrad inbound. I uh, couldn't pick up the identifier, but I got the weather. Sierra 768 Backstrad here, Palm Springs Tower, Roger, stay parking. I'm going to be uh, picking some up at Atlantic, 8 Fox Shots here. Sirius 8 Fox Shots here, Roger, enter left downwind, runway 31 right, report midfield downwind. Uh, left downwind for a 31 right, report uh, midfield, 8 Fox Shots here. Track 737 November, Bravo, make right downwind departure, wind calm, runway 31 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 31 right, right downwind departure, Cessna 7 November, Bravo. Now, as I approach the terminal area, I need to slow down a bit, so now I'm going to put in my first notch of flaps. As the plane slows down, I'm going to sync my heading and switch to heading mode, 
and get parallel with runway 31. North American 72 Charlie, Roger, runway 31 right, clear to land. Sure, I can say to land, 372 Charlie. Thanks, Sears Now, with the plane properly configured for landing, I have one final thing I want to do. Even though I'm flying VFR, I'm going to actually load an approach. My plan, let's go procedure. Approach, visual 31 right, vectors. Loading the visual approach extends the center line and gives me a couple new waypoints to aim at as I make my base and final turns on approach and really helps me with my situational awareness. This is 7 November, Bravo Radar, contact the altitude. At this point in the flight, everything is set and I'm feeling pretty good about things, but as I was recently reminded, the flight isn't over until the flight is over, and until then, you got to be on guard. Sirius 8, Foxtrot Sierra, traffic 4 mile final to the parallel runway, Embraer 175, 1800, report traffic in sight. Uh, don't see him in sight. Where's his location again? Sirius 8, Foxtrot Sierra, he's at your 10 to 11 o'clock, 3 miles north westbound, uh, Embraer 175, 1500, he's about three mile final now. No traffic inside 8 Fox Trots here. And Sirius 8 Fox Trots here, confirm you said traffic inside or no traffic inside? No traffic inside 8 Fox Trots here. Sirius 8 Fox Trots here, roger, maintain a visual separation from that traffic, pass behind that traffic, caution, wake turbulence, runway 31 right, clear to land. Got him inside now, 31 right, uh, 8 Fox Trots here. North American 72 Charlie, turn right, contact, ground point enter. District. With the traffic in sight, I turn off the autopilot and prepare to make my base turn to final. With my speed at 100 knots, I'm going to add that last notch of flaps and start my base turn to final. As I round into that turn, you're going to start to see why I think that visual approach function is so valuable. As I scan from outside the airplane to back in the cockpit, that line provides me a great visual reference to tell me how I'm doing squaring up on the runway. As I start to prepare to make that base turn to final, I'm going to give a little bit of advice for some of the folks out there who might fly into Palm Springs International on their own one day. That big runway to the right of 31 left that you 500. see. 500. 5694, turn left, wind able, contact ground point enter. That's a final, 5694. Is a taxiway. 31 right is that little one to the right of there. Only Harrison Ford can land on that one in the middle. Just kidding. Actually, he can't land there as well. So when you're flying into Palm Springs, keep that in mind. It's visually uh, deceptive. Okay, flaps are in, mixture's full. As we prepare for landing, I want to take a moment to thank you for joining me on today's flight. If you like what you see, I hope you'll click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. Okay, I'll my name up. is Steve Rennie. I am the Ren Baron, and this is my Ren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. Went a little off the left. down the runway.
Okay, not bad. I managed to get it on the center line. And now that I'm down, I'm going to scroll up on my map, spot my taxiway, and then hey, we turn have off the here. taxi back to Atlantic Aviation. Sears 8, Foxtrot, Sierra, turn right, Foxtrot, contact ground, point niner. Right, Foxtrot, ground, point nine or eight, Foxtrot, Sierra, thank you. Palm Springs ground, Sierra 768, uh, Foxtrot, Sierra, clear, 31 right, taxi, Atlantic. Sierra uh, 768, Foxtrot, Sierra, Palm Springs ground, taxi to parking via Echo. Parking via Echo, 8, Foxtrot, Sierra, thank you. Echo, current altimeter 3006, wind calm.